Hi everyone, welcome to Madison on YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about the second cranial nerve. The second cranial nerve, it is a lesion in the retina, leads to the scotoma that in that a certain point may become blind spot. There will be a lesion in the scotoma which leads to the blind spot in the future. When any optic nerve damages, it leads to the complete blindness. The optic asthma is a lesion in the central with a bitemporal hemopnea, but the peripheral on both the sides will lead to the binasal hemopnea. Hemenopia. Listen, optic asthma leads to the central will lead to the bitemporal hemopnea when there will be a, but a peripheral side will lead to binasal hemopnea. There will be complete destruction of the optic tract and the lateral geniculate body in optic radiation of the visual cortex of the side results in the loss of opposite half of the field vision. When there is loss of the opposite side, the opposite of the uh, optic tract, lateral geniculate body, and the visual cortex will get distracted completely. This leads to the opposite side field vision in uh, loss of opposite side field vision. The lesion of the right side leads to the left hemopnea. The optic neuritis leads to this is a lesion which is present in the optic nerve results in decrease in visual activity. The optic nerve disappears in the pale and smaller. When the methyl alcohol uh, comes in contact with the eye, leads to the blindness. The paleoedema results in an increase in intracranial pressure which leads to the swelling of the optic disc. Due to it, there will be blockage of the tributaries of the retinal veins. This is the paleoedema. Bad no edema. That's all. Thank you. That's all about the second nerve applied up clean color anatomy. Second cranial nerve. If you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any doubt in it, comment it. For more videos, please do subscribe. Thank you.